Hey guys, Yara here and welcome to Amberscape. As you see in a moment ago, I have a 10 pieces of amber and every single one has an inclusion in it. And today what I want to do is I have prepared a microscope and we will go, we will gonna make some photos today for these inclusions. First, let's take the amber out. Magnificent, beautiful pieces. I freshly repolished them just yesterday for this exact purpose to make some pictures. And I decided to share some of these pictures and the whole process with you because I know some of you does like inclusions in amber. Oh, little beauties. Okay, so let's put this to the side because I will need them shortly. For now, I need to set up the, my microscope and all the lights because I need very good lights to make some decent pictures through the microscope. Let's put the amber here. Um, yeah, uh, since I don't have very much light, uh, I will use that white background, which is just a piece of paper. <laughs> very easy setup and the white background will help me to lighten up the pictures a little bit. So about the lights, I will be using this light yep then i will be using this influencer like light as an additional led light right here and final piece of light is the illuminator with the double goosenecks it will give me some additional lights it's very strong light but the minus of this gooseneck is that the light is yellow and the yellow light makes inclusions a little bit red. Yeah, so I need to change the lamp to the LED light. Okay, the setup is ready. Everything is quite simplistic. We have this circular LED light on top of there some boxes. <laughs> you know, I know it doesn't look very professional, but it is how it is. Then we have these two goosenecks. It will shine like light from the top on the piece. And finally, if we will need some extra light for the support, I will take this small LED light, remove it from this holder, and we will also put it right here, so it will shine extra light from the side, and that should work fine. And the first piece is this magnificent small, some sort of a plant piece. Yes, yeah, so let's equip it on the plastic and let's make some pictures. This tiny piece of plant is called Selaginella, quite uncommon find in Cretaceous amber from Burma. Plant itself is not in the best shape preservation-wise. It's quite oxidized, but we can see plant's definition clearly. It's very aesthetic, in a nice clear piece of amber. I think it would look really good as a small minimalistic necklace or a ring. I'm quite happy with this one. So the plant was quite nice pictures. Now let's check this tiny nail size piece with some sort of beetle inside. In fact, I already know what kind of beetle it is. But I see some problems with this piece because it's, uh, well, from this side it's covered with some sort of debris and this side it's a little bit darker and the beetle is black, so I don't expect very good photos with this one with my equipment. Neat, let's check this one out through the microscope. As expected, dark beetle in a darker piece didn't produce decent pictures with my budget setup. But beetle is not a bad one, and it's a uncommon one. It's called ant-like stone beetle, from subfamily Sidmaeninae. It's called ant-like because with its long legs and antennas, it resembles an ant. I'm not sure about specific species of this exact specimen, but Sidmaeninae beetles are still thriving today. Cool specimen. This one is next. Yep, I know what it is. It doesn't look in the best shape, but it's for sure this insect. It's very rare. But ah, it's so little bit cracked and dirty piece. I will have some troubles with this one. Let's try anyway. And yep, I was right. I'm having so much trouble 
lighting this piece properly to get the right angle we need all the lights and then let's try this one as extra come on okay good boy still not quite right No doubts in my mind about this one, it's from the same Sidmaninae subfamily as the previous ant-like beetle, but this one is from the Mastigini tribe, it's called Cascomastigus monstrabilis, and it was a predator with over-specialized antennas that worked as a net to catch springtails. Sadly, these species are extinct now, and it is very rare beetle, I have made informative video about this species which you can find in Ember Informative Videos playlist on my channel. Okay, after some challenges, let's take some easy pieces like this one. Tiny marble, it's so beautiful, but the insect is microscopic. It's around one millimeter, <laughs> very small, and there is a lot of bubbles on top, very aesthetic piece. Let's put it under microscope. Love this piece because of the clearness of this piece and all the water droplets inside. Really aesthetic. But about the insect, it's just a pee, pee fly, small dipteran. I will be honest, I hope that this long antenna from the front is proboscis and it is a mosquito. Got tricked. Mosquitoes are extremely rare in amber. Okay, the piece is tiny, I know, I know, okay. But the inclusion is not the smallest, I mean it's small, it's a nymph, it's a nymph of a cricket. And not just any cricket, this is Elataridae, extinct species of cricket. Not sure how well it's preserved. <laughs> Let's check it out under microscope, I expect good things from this one. So I do have a thing for a prehistoric extinct species of uh, bugs, any kind of bugs, especially crickets. So yeah, I really hope I make some good pictures for this one. This one is quite important for me. Elcanidaea are an extinct family of crickets from the Cretaceous period. They are easily identified by metatibial spurs on the legs. These crickets are really exciting, not because we can't find modern relatives, but even in Baltic amber deposit, you can't find this. They were already fully extinct 50 million years ago. This one was identified by Orthopterans expert and it's likely to be Burmelkana species of crickets. Preservation is very decent as well, as we can see all the details of this specimen. Okay, this one now. Very pleasant shape, very pleasant shape. Nice polish as well, nice colors. <laughs> You see, we see a few different colors in this piece. Like uh, we have the lightest color here, darker here and darkest here. So basically different flow lines in the colors and uh, we are quite lucky because uh, to have lightest colors exactly where the insect is, is very lucky. Uh, while it is light, it's still quite dark. So let's see what can we get from this one. <laughs> Sweet piece, love it. another amazing insect inclusion. This one is called Neuroptera, or a net-winged insects. This specific one is a long proboscis Neuroptera. Scientific name is Paradoxosirinae. Thanks, Dola, for the ID. Unfortunately, these are the best photos I could get in a darker piece. Usually, their net-like wings looks really impressive. This one is freaking insane, look at this. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. I just wanna keep watching at it. Like, I do wanna make some photos, but let me watch it first. It's the same species as the first plant I showed, the Selaginella, but this one is the best Selaginella specimen from Ember I've seen yet. Insanely aesthetic, plant is perfectly in the center of the piece, I even don't mind the debris that's in the piece. Lovely plant specimen. <laughs> that plant was crazy and I'm really happy with the pictures. I think this plant will be amazing in, on the photos. And now we have 
three pieces left and let's hope they won't disappoint because so far I'm really happy with this, all the pieces, the seven before. Yeah, two of these are really, really tiny and some sort of bug. This one first. I don't even see what's inside. Okay, I see something. And this piece is quite interesting. Look at the flow lines. And this one, you see the lines? Natural flow lines of raisin. Okay, do you see in the center? Well, not in the center, but I see something in this one. Okay, let's magnify this one. Remember the extinct Elkanid cricket nymph from before? Well, this is Elkanid cricket larva, super tiny, and I know that by the same trademark, the metatibial spores on the legs. Awesome to see different life stages of these extinct orthopterans. Nice piece, not the biggest insect, looks to be a flying insect, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a wasp. Even with naked eye I can see a small stinger on it. <laughs> Very photogenic small Cretaceous wasp from the Hemonoptera superorder, most likely a parasitic wasp. Now we can see the stinger clearly. Not much to say here, I'm not really knowledgeable about wasps. Cool specimen though, exceptional preservation. Okay, the final piece, some sort of heteroptera, a true bug, right? Not a big one, once again nice flow lines of this piece. And yeah, fun fact by the way, so far I made 1650 pictures <laughs> for these 9 pieces. With this one it will be, I don't know, like 100 more pictures, maybe even more. I make around 30 pictures for one photo, sometimes more, sometimes less. And yeah, this is a true bug, one more extinct species with scientific name of Yuri Popovidae. It has very big eyes relative to its body size, uh, which are uh, even unproportional. Another cool piece. And this is the last specimen of today, so it is the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it, if you did smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amber content. Thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!